That's this. Get my rhythm down. That's faster what I do. It's gonna be short. It's gonna be short, I promise. Short, 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 short. What do I have now? Some tea. Hot, 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 hot. Oh yeah, is that the uh, Robo something? Uh, what is that? Blue, what somebody's burying, whatever I had. But I put, I put some, uh, I put some lemon, reconstituted lemon juice in it and whatever I have you. I like real lemons, but uh, gotta get it from them uh, What are we doing today? Oh, well before I start, this is gonna be a little, uh, I don't say clean up, but manners. Okay, this is, let's call this thing manners. <laughs> AD was manners. Okay. First of all, before you start anything. Uh, should I say my home? I guess I can't really say my home girl. Because I'm no longer in the, I'm, I'm the Bronx. I'm the Bronx all the time. <laughs> Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Let me talk that. Uh, um, Alexandria. Alexandria. Uh, pay attention. Listen, listen. Your 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 original allure or whatever has was because you were what we call I think the word back then still now is authentic, okay? You're supposed to be authentic. Now when Whoopi Goldberg went after you until you always sit down and wait your turn or whatever have you, I was very against that. I, I think she still should apologize. I don't know if she apologized to you yet, whatever have you. But now you see what happens when you when things get to your head, it gets a little bit strange because you was up there hanging up there with with uh, with Reverend Al. Now, if you know anything about the black community, I mean the real black community, Reverend Allen is a non-factor, okay? He's a non-factor in the black community. He's always, he's always pimped the black community. He's supposed to go with those silver, silver, like with a dollar silver rights, like 30 pieces of silver rights keep people. <laughs> not only that. Okay, figure the FBI informant all this that stuff. Just, just say he's not, it's not good you could, why would you go and try to keep, why would you go to the National Action Network anyway? You're not. Those are presidential candidates. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? Uh, uh, um, doing uh, doing voice blackface. You're doing voice blackface. Strange, man. Baby, just hey. I'm not trying to stay in your lane. Just just. You're not presidential yet. You know what I mean? Just please, just go chill. Because you you you're gonna shoot yourself all kinds of places. Okay. But speaking about manners, you know, and being authentic, whatever heaven. Ah. Uh, uh, one of the things I do, aside from doing these commentaries and doing my interviews, you know, whatever, whatever have you, is that I like to reply to comments, right? But I don't do it the same way that other people do it. Like we had this thing, uh, Professor Black Truth had put something on there, and I, and I had written a comment, um, it was two days ago, I said, um, there is a huge difference between the black folks who came before 1965 and those who came after. ADUS is a political movement. The ADUS reality is going after a debt due. The question is, are you an ally or what? Okay. Somebody answered me. Well, started to comment on my comment. <coughs> he says, the person, I'm not going to mention people's name because it doesn't matter. matter okay. This, this, right. The person writes, I could never be a member, friend, or ally to a I, I, I don't curse at this particular point, but I, 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 I don't worry about it, I don't curse, I'm not curse. He said, uh, F-boy, uh, movement spreading hate and divide and divide among the people, okay? And then somebody wrote him, uh, why don't you go back to your home country and fight? Good point. Then I wrote back, now here's the thing. When, when people start trolling, whatever having to start cursing, whatever have you, when I do, it's not taking a high ground. I just, I just, look, I came from, literally came from the South Bronx, from the projects, right? In, in, the, in the time when, you know, we, when, it, when it really mattered, well, at the, at the time, right? And I ascended, where I went through a whole bunch of stuff and been all around the world, blah, 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 blah. So, so my, inf my I'm informed by my youth, by the streets. I, I, when I go other places, I hang out with the, I hang out with the, 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 you know, the, the downtrodden of the world whenever, whenever I go. Okay. But, but when I write, sometimes I, sometimes I write that, sometimes I write, but I like to write what's called dense pack. I like to write highbrow. 
you know, I'm like, uh, as James Baldwin said, James Baldwin said, no, you, you want me to come down to, no, I want you to come not up to my level, but I, I'm not going to compromise my stuff for what you do, okay? So here's my, then I said, after all that, I said, fine, then we will continue the battle, when he, because he said he, he would never be part of, um, of a group or whatever have you, calling people names, whatever. I said, fine, I will never, um, I, um, Fine, then we will continue the battle begun so many centuries ago. We will get the debt due our lineage. Yes, we will. Next paragraph. No need for you to join the ADOS front uh, for the fight against... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, let me start again. No need for you to join the ADOS front of this fight against the Hydra. I call it the Hydra. No. Anglo racist white supremacy, that system is a Hydra. Just know, there, there is no need to attack ADUS as facts and data are stubborn things. Re, um, real hashtag ADUS um, breaking brown tone talks folks uh, know what's up. There is no real brief. The lineage of this movement, knee reality, uh, goes beyond immigrants, beyond integrationists, organizations, um, let me read that over. I'm sorry. I, mean, I got to start this over here because this is a, I like this part. The lineage of this movement, knee reality, goes beyond immigrants, beyond integrationist organizations. Talking about the NAACP and, and you know, whatever. And also, okay. those kind of core, you know, those kind of things, you know. Even to a certain extent, I mean, that meant that they say I'm jumping on them. Beyond our enslavement, our kidnapping, we made it through here, we made it through to here, this epoch, to fulfill our mission. It obviously is not your fight, this fight against the evil system of Anglo-racist white supremacy. So do what you will, God speed to us all. I'm sorry, I have to read that last thing again, quiet, because I sort of like it, right? I'm going to read, I'm not read last thing again. The lineage of this movement, knee reality goes beyond immigrants, beyond integrationist organizations, beyond our enslavement, our kidnapping. We made it through to here, this epoch, to fulfill our mission. It obviously is not your fight, this fight against the evil system of Anglo-racist white supremacy. You don't want to make it your fight, you know what I mean? So do what you will. God speed to us all. So what I'm saying is that I, you know I, when people start cursing or whatever, that's just fine. That's fine. If you want to fight, that, that's that, that's great, you know, because that's your that's your thing. But I, I sort of like, you know, I don't know. I like eloquence. <laughs> eloquence. It's it's nice, you know. It's good. It works. Okay. So anyway, right, back on there. So I just wanted to throw that out, um, just to say, I'm actually, and I got my Coast Guard shirt on. I was never into Coast Guard. It's just that, you know. I, Look, if you want a really good clothes, you know, you, if, if you're next to, a, in, in the States, if you're next to, a, you know, a, a military base that's a PX or, you know, a, a clothing store, they usually have really American-made stuff there and whatever happening, and stuff is really good. This is a Coast Guard shirt. I really like it. It's got a lot of pockets with stuff, stuff about fashion. So, look, so here's, get back to the point. So, here's the thing. Uh, again, I say between now and, and, and July 3rd, Fourth is, uh, is the, the country and all the rest of that stuff. So we do all our sniping, you know, because the people that's coming after us now is not the white supremacists yet. They they sort of lurking in the thing. They they send their, their troops in first, you know, the the the, the immigrants, the, the naysayers. They 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 they're jumping on us right now. So you know, we'll fight them until to the fourth of July. Then they'll they'll fade away because they have to. You know what I mean? And don't please don't get into a fist fight. People start to punch people. Whatever have you done? That don't make no sense. This is a political argument. You know how they get on the floor and say, my distinguished colleague across the, you know, that kind of thing, you know, that, you see? You don't have to do that. You don't have to go to any place and act like you, you know, whatever, you know. Let me give you a tiny story when I was in college. Tiny, I swear it's a short. There was a sister, you know, I loved it. It was when there's a lot of sisters in college, you know. And then somewhere, and because I went to college from 19, what, uh, my, my final stint, my final two years at Livingston College from, from 74 to 76, graduated in 76. In that time period, I, I knew this, this, this sister, and she was fine. Then somewhere in the middle of that thing, say 1975 or something, uh, whatever, whenever it was, she all of a sudden, she, 
she all of a sudden came out. She went home one time, she came back, and she came out with this Jamaican lilt to her voice, you know, this, this patois. I said, wait a second, because before she was talking black. And, but she was proud because I think it was Bob Marley hit or somebody hit, but she was now proud to be whatever have you. So the thing that I find that people, you know, they slide under, they've been, they've been hiding, uh, hiding, some of them have been popping up, whatever have you, hiding under their thing. And then when we have a movement, then all of a sudden they're gonna pop up and say, you, you shouldn't name yourself, you're not right, you know? And what about us? Hey, wait a second, we, we, we're so used to pushing you down. We're so, you, you're walking on you like all the other Americans do. I you know, even though we're not Americans, we know what to, well, it's, it's, the movement's not gonna allow that. So just, just be aware of that. Just a little message from me. T from the Patterson's Take the Train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the American descendants of child slavery. Don't fight. At least not physically. Use your intellect. Read.